Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise and I hope you guys have had a great Sunday so far. I know I've been super busy today and this whole past week that this video almost didn't make it out, but here we are. I have three really cute beach decor ideas for you guys to try. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started on today's beachy video. Our first DIY today is this beachy wall hanging that I made out of air dried clay. I'm gonna start by showing you how I made the starfish. So I used some cardstock to draw a starfish shape onto it and create a template, and then I cut it out. Then I used some air dried clay and I used a wine bottle to roll it out flat. Once you've rolled out your air dry clay to the size that you need, you're going to put your starfish template on top of it, and then you're going to carefully cut around your template using an X-Acto knife. Then you're going to use a little bit of water to soften the edges and smooth out any cracks or wrinkles in the air dry clay. And when you're happy with the way your starfish looks, you're going to carefully pick it up. And I put my starfish on some wax paper to dry. And you want to make sure to flip it over every eight hours or so, so that it dries evenly. So to make my sand dollars for the wall hanging, I ended up rolling up some air dry clay and then with my X-Acto knife, I cut into the air dry clay and I'm really just eyeballing a circle. It really doesn't have to be perfect because sand dollars are not perfect circles. So I cut it out and then I used a little bit of water to soften up the edges and then also to create a little ridges and bumps on the outside of the air dry clay. Once I was happy with my circle, I used this clay sculpting tool to lightly carve out a flower shape in the middle of my circle that sand dollars usually have. And once the little flower was done, I used an X-Acto knife to cut into the air dried clay to give it those holes that also sand dollars have. I definitely had to look up a picture of a sand dollar to make sure I was getting the holes right, so I do recommend looking up a picture. You can also just follow along with me here. So after the X-Acto knife, I went in with this dotting tool to make sure that my holes were nice and open. Keep in mind that air dry clay does shrink a little bit when it dries, so just make sure they're nice and open. Once I was done making my sand dollar, I placed it on top of some wax paper, and then I grabbed some plastic wrap and bunched it up into a little ball, and then I placed my sand dollar on top of it to give it that bend that sand dollars usually have. Also, don't forget to create a little hole on the top of your sand dollar. We're gonna need that hole in the hole we created previously at the bottom to hang our sand dollars. And then again, this will take about 48 hours to completely dry and make sure to flip it over so that everything dries evenly. So once everything is nice and dry, you can go ahead and paint it. I'm using some white and some parchment color acrylic paint, which is sort of like a beige color. And I sprinkled some baking soda on top of it to make it really thick and look a little bit sandy. Give your pieces two coats of baking soda paint and then let them dry. Once all of your pieces are nice and dry, it's time to put your wall hanging together. So I decided to arrange my wall hanging with two sand dollars on top and then the starfish at the bottom. So I used some natural craft cord from the Dollar Tree. So I started by attaching a piece of cord to the top where I'm gonna hang it from. So I folded my cord in half and then I put the loop side through the back of my sand dollar through the top hole and then I grabbed the ends of the cord and put them through the loop, pulled, and then I created a knot on the top. To 
To attach the next sand dollar, I grabbed another piece of cord and I attached it the same way I did the hanging string on the previous sand dollar. Then I grabbed the ends of the cord and I put them through the first sand dollar and then I made a knot on the back. And then I put my fingers through that loop I created with that knot and I put my second sand dollar through it and pulled. To attach my starfish, I grabbed a piece of cord and I attached it to the second sand dollar the same way I did the other cords. And then I grabbed the ends of those cords and I wrapped it around the top of my starfish and did some knots on top and then I continued wrapping it and knotting it until it was nice and secure. Once everything is tied tight, you can go ahead and cut the extra cords and this project is done. Our second DIY is this cute starfish 3D painting. For this project, you'll need a wood panel. Mine is an 8x8 from the Dollar Tree. I started off by mixing these two acrylic paints. It's thalo blue and thalo green and mixing it with a little bit of white to create like a sea bluish greenish color. And I almost forgot here, but make sure to tape down your edges to get some clean lines. I taped mine just underneath of the face of this wood paneling. Once you've taped everything down, then you can go ahead and give your panel a first coat of paint, making sure that the entire surface is covered. Once that first coat of paint was dry to the touch, I mixed some more paint and then I added baking soda to give the panel some texture and make it look sandy and beachy. I ended up using a good amount of baking soda in my paint mix because I really wanted to give this wood panel a lot of texture. Once you're done with that second coat of paint, make sure to take off the masking tape while the paint is still wet and then let your wood panel dry completely. Once your wood panel is completely dry, it should look something like this. As you can see, it looks very textured. And then to finish this project off, I simply hot glued an air dry clay starfish that I made with my first DIY. I apologize for that blurry footage. My phone completely went out of focus while I was hot gluing the starfish to my wood paneling. So that completes our second beach decor project. Our third DIY is this adorable fishing net jar that I made using a recycled pickle jar. So for this project, you will need a jar and some four millimeter macrame cord. Now the jar can be a mason jar. I use a pickle jar, although it was really hard to take off the labels, but with some boiling hot water and soap, I was able to get all of the sticker stuff off. So to start off, what you wanna do is grab a piece of macrame cord and tie it around the rim of your jar, making sure it's not too tight because we are going to be attaching other strings to it. Then you're going to cut pieces of macrame cord that are four times the length of your jar. And for my size jar, I ended up cutting eight of these pieces. Once all of your cords are cut, you're going to start attaching them to the macrame cord that's tied around the rim of the jar. Use a Lark's head knot to attach your cords. So what you want to do is Fold your cord in half and then take the loop end and put it through the rim and then put your fingers through the little loop, take the ends of the cord and pull. As you're attaching your cords, make sure that you move them around so that they're spaced evenly around the jar. Once your cords are all attached, you can go back to that cord that's tied around the rim of the jar and make sure that it's nice and tight. And again, make sure that these cords are evenly spaced out around the jar uh, so that we can start making our knots and creating our little fishnet around the jar. So each cord that we attached has two strands. 
Take one strand from each attached cord and create two knots. Then continue by grabbing the next two strands of macrame and doing the same thing, making two knots. And then continue around your jar the exact same way until you are back where you started. Once you've gone all the way around, you're going to essentially do the same thing. So you're going to grab one strand from each of the little knots and then create another two knots a little bit lower on the jar, creating a diamond shape. And then you're going to continue doing the same thing around your jar. And then once you're done that round, you're going to start another one. And I'm just going to let this footage roll so you can see how I did this. When you're done with all of your knots, it should look something like this. And then to finish it off, you're going to gather all of the excess macrame at the bottom of the jar and then pull a little bit, gather them as best as you can. And then you're going to take some scissors and cut as close to the jar as you can. And then you're going to glue each of the little strands one by one to the bottom of the jar with some hot glue. Once all of your pieces are glued down, you can go ahead and cut some excess macrame and then this project is done. All right guys, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll give one of these beach decor ideas a try because they are so cute. And if you did like today's video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future DIYs. Until next Sunday, everyone. Bye.